I ask for you for recording this discussion. And then uh, for the discussion, uh, are you ready, Mr. Satrio? Yes, Mr. Fitra, okay. I'm ready. Is it good for you if I or you share the PowerPoint? Or Yes, please. I guess um, you can be the um, admin. Okay, so I will share the PPT, yeah? Okay. Okay, uh, for you, Mr. Satrio, time is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. Vitra, for this great such opportunity that you have given to me tonight. Um, I do hope that our discussion tonight will be um, fun and also will be productive session because um, I saw that uh, we have 18 participants here that I believe that you will uh, give your opinion and discuss uh, very well uh, in our discussion session tonight. So good evening, everyone. Um, today we will discuss, um, it's quite common topic uh, for us, I guess. It's about the quarter life crisis uh, with the title, A Way to Grow Up. So um, let me introduce myself first. Uh, I'm Satrio and I will be uh, your moderator and I will give you uh, to uh, to discuss uh, in our discussion session tonight. <clears throat> um, is it my voice uh, clearly audible? Yes, yes. Okay, sure. Um, we will start from the first slide, and you can see that it is about the quarter life crisis. So the next slide, Mr. Petra. Okay, I will start. Uh, I'm sorry. I will start uh, from the introduction first. So um, there is um, several stage of life by Thomas M. Strong, PhD. Uh, there are ten stages of life. Um, the first one is a pre-birth. Pre uh, the second is birth. Uh, number three is infancy, and also childhood. Childhood um, spreadly from three step: early, middle, and late. And also number five is adolescent or, or also teenagers. Number six we have early adulthood. Number seven midlife, and also, uh, and then nature adulthood late adulthood, and the last one is death. So um, on the next slide, um, I will give you um, an interesting question about our topic. So are you ready, guys? OK. The question is, on what step of life does it usually happen? Maybe some of you um, able to give your own statement or also your own opinion about about this, about the our topic um, of uh, quarter life crisis. Please raise your hand. Is there anybody who wants to give your answer? Yes, it is about the quarter life crisis. On what step of life does it usually happen? On the previous slide, um, Mr. Fitra has given you uh, 10 stages of life. So um, this question. Uh, is referred to uh, the slide before.
Anybody? Okay, we have muffins. Okay, thank you, Mr. Satrio, for this opportunity. Okay. Uh, in my perspective, Mr. Satrio, uh, uh, the state is commonly happen over the quarter life crisis, actually in early adulthood, in my opinion, because in early adulthood is the age between 20 until 30 years. So in this age, uh, commonly, we as a human is at the time, is focus on thing, yeah, focus on thing about how about our future uh, with our problem in that life. So sometimes in the our age, in a, from twenty until thirty, uh, we face so many problem in our life. So that's my answer. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mufin, for your opinion uh, on what step of life does it usually happen? Regisar di group kan. Susan menang nasib di Brawijaya University. Please congratulate. Apa? Kasih selamat. Okay, we can continue. Okay, and we will move to the another slide and. Next, Mr. Vita. Okay, Mr. Mufin uh, has given um, his own opinion about the um, what on what step of life uh, does it uh, quarter life crisis usually happen. So um, this is um, one of the important things in our discussion tonight about the definition. So. Um, Maybe some of you will uh, give your opinion about the definition of quarter life crisis. So the question is, what does quarter life crisis mean? Please raise your hand. Okay, uh, we have two participants uh, who has uh, raised hand. The first one, maybe uh, we'll start from Miss Akila Fauzalma, and then uh, Mr. Mufin after this. Please have your seat, Miss Akila. Okay, thank you, Mister, for this opportunity. Uh, in my opinion, quarter life crisis is when someone feel insecure and feel useless and uh, when someone uh, confused about what they need to do uh, now and <laughs> and uh, when they are feel worry about uh, what what the future that they will face yeah thank you okay thank you so much miss akila um you said that um quarter of crisis is a part of um human life uh, that um, common happen uh, where um people feel that um feel insecure or useless or even they don't know what to do in life and also yeah. uh, they also feel worried about their life as well okay um, it's um, interesting opinion from Mr. A Miss, Miss Akila thank you so much Miss Akila and then we will move to the uh, Mr. Mufin Please. yeah I strongly agree with Miss Akila opinion about the quarter life crisis that's true that quarter life crisis is a time or stage in our life when we feel so confused what we want to do. 
uh, usually is happen when we as a early adulthood after graduate from bachelor degree or from uh, senior high school uh, is is rarely happen from senior high school but uh, it commonly happen when the undergraduate student is that want to what they want to do after this for example many people that come to english village for example because they want to find the the purpose of life after they come to the english village for example and then from pare they commonly feel insecure like miss akila said before that Uh, what I want to do after this, what I want to do to come here, and why I are still in here. Uh, it means that we still confused and don't know and uh, don't know what we want to do after this, after we struggle, we face before. So it's commonly happened, yeah, like I said before, in our age 20 until 30. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Mufin. <clears throat> yes, I also do agree with your statement that um, it is um, a period of a human life uh, that uh, happens uh, um, on the edge from 25 until 30. And also um, some people struggle with, with their self uh, first. They don't know um, how to find a way about, uh, the, yeah, about, about the future. Maybe some like that, and also they don't know um, how to um, how to be and or how to step up um, on their life. So okay, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Mufin, for your um, kind of opinion, and then we will move to Mr. Sunshine. This time is yours, Mr. Sunshine. Okay, thank you so much for the time or the opportunity. I'd like to say that I couldn't agree more with, with, what, had, with what has been explained by the previous speakers. I'd just like to add probably with some flowery uh, statement. Mm, probably it is more uh, than just uh, problems related to uh, self-actualization. So it really concerns about something related to our academic life, non-academic life, for example, like romance, like uh, working uh, orientations, or probably like uh, something related to the future and also past, because it's not only about what are, uh, what are, what are the things that I'm going to do, but it's exactly like, um, uh, did I do right? Okay, uh, did I good? Did I do as what? what has been expected by my parents, by the closer persons around me, for example. So, um, yeah, I do believe that uh, crisis can also mean not only something related to our personality, but also our engagement, how do we, in we engage toward others, how we actually communicate our feelings to others, and how others treat us as a person, as an individual, as friend, or any double or any other roles that you might bring in our existence. And also a um, uh, crisis can also mean uh, how do we uh, respect our own decision and to what extent, to what point we can actually make and respect our decisions that have been made by ourselves without being induced by a statement or opinion of others. Quarter life means like you're gonna be like 25 because it's like we we going we, we're going to like we count this from 100 years or probably like a century means that the quarter life the first quarter life that we might have is like between one till 25. So it's exactly what has been said by the previous speaker. It's related to how we not only after uh, graduated but also in the process of graduations. Okay, sometimes when uh, we still are studying in bachelor degree, we might still find, uh, unable to find, how to say, uh, appropriate circle that might facilitate us in terms of potential or patient. 
And exactly after graduations, there would be more challenges. We see that uh, there is a higher rate of unemployment, not only that, with a high uh, competitive, um, how to say, job, uh, job selections and, and job capacities that make it even more, uh, even, even worse. I see that um, uh, something related to work, to romance, life, and also to ourselves. I mean, like, we still get completely finished. Uh, by understanding ourselves, and that's why this ambiguity of self-understanding causes such an extreme anxiety that can easily uh, cause us to uh, fall into mental depressions, uh, unstable mental health, and something like that. And that's what I thought about quite a life crisis. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Sunstein. Okay, please give him applause. But uh his opinion okay um from mr sunshine uh i will underline uh, some of um his opinion and also some of here uh his statement about the opinion of the quarter life crisis the first one is quarter life crisis is more than just a problem so um it, it is also is a non-academic uh, problem or um, it's like um, um, how did I do correctly or uh, how did I do rightly and also how to communicate uh, with ourselves first and also the other people. And <clears throat> the last one, um, I will underline uh, Mr. Sunshine said that um, the, quarter life, the quarter life crisis uh, is uh, how to respect the decision that we made before. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Sunshine, uh, for your complete uh, description about the opinion, uh, I mean, about the definition uh, of quarter life crisis. So, uh, the next one, we have Miss Zelita Marsha. Please, um, time is yours, Miss Zelita. Is my, uh, is my voice clear enough? Sure. All right. Uh, actually, I strongly agree with um, Miss. Uh, Akila and also Mr. Mufin that um, many, many people believe that uh, life crisis is in the step of early uh, adult so that uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have to make a choice that will affect our future so it, it will make uh, us confused to make a decision for our future. And then after that, like uh, so many opposite between a child with uh, the, uh, their parent or uh, child, they want to be a doctor, but their parent, uh, be their uh, teacher, for example. And, <laughs> and actually it happens to me that uh, this is actually my quarter of life because I just graduated from uh, Bachelor's degree. So um, I told uh, my parents that I want to uh, work at the airport, but my parents uh, uh, told me that uh, don't, uh, don't say it literally in English. <laughs> so like, um, just do, uh, just do what, what are available to you. Like for example, there is a job of a job vacancy in the course, so you have to uh, sign up just to apply, and then um, and I, and I, actually uh, sometimes I com I complain to my parents about that because uh, this is like this is not my passion like that, but yeah, I I try to pass it, so yeah, uh, so that's uh that's what i'm afraid because when we were child we just we just no play play with friends play with uh play games and after we grow up so uh, uh, uh make us so stress and connected yeah maybe just that for me okay thank you so much Ms. Zelita. so here um i will underline about your statement and also your opinion that uh you said that um, I guess it is also interesting part uh, of the parallel crisis means. 
So um, you uh, you were mentioning about the um, obstacle and also problem between uh, children and also parents. I do agree about this and also um, people who has um, in this period uh, also struggling with uh, their self and also uh, they don't know how to answer what the best for you and also um, it's about uh, the right decision is it uh, is it uh, right or not um, to um, to make a decision for our self okay thank you and then we have misopirwa misopirwa hello hello okay, hi sir please the time is yours all right thank you um we've we have heard so many opinion about this the, this uh this point so i think i'm just gonna add a few from it because yeah it has a lot of definition because every person has their own um i think it just quarter life crisis is just simple the feeling of unfulfilled uninspired and trapped after some situation happen it's not only because uh, we have we get the problems some certain problems in one in, at once but it also because uh, if the feeling of left behind because we don't do as much as others do so i think that's the feeling of cartelizes comes because um that's uh what the previous speaker also said that it happened usually in our 20s or early 30s because that's the age of when we're trying to finding find ourselves or our our destiny maybe but i think it's not only happened for uh 20s or 30 i think as long as we have as long as we we uh we still alive it will happen in a certain period of time uh, maybe every 10 years or every five years for example so it's never going to stop in our 30 it can be continued to our 40 or 50 the finding of ourselves because uh, the 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 experience that we have fast in the past will change the the way we're thinking the way we see the life itself so when we have found another definition of life that's when comes uh, the anxiety of the feeling of anxiety inside our inside our uh, ourselves that there's another definition i have found so uh i feel uh there's a certain feeling that we feel anxious scared worried again so i think it's it just repeated in a certain period of time i think that's what i that's my point thank you okay thank you so much miss op wow it is so um very great and also a very interesting opinion from you so um I will also underline about your opinion. He, uh, here you said that um, it is uh, like a simple feeling uh, of someone uh, that have been trapped uh, in hard or tough uh, situation um, in human life period. So um, it also happen not in some part of uh, the uh, human life period, but also it's kind of like um, a lifetime learning so everyone in every single stage of life uh, will be in this period or even this uh, this will happen in um, the beginning of the adulthood or also even it will happen in the um, late adulthood so okay thank you so much uh, miss opi uh, and also the we still have um two participants has raised hand. Uh, here we have uh, Mr. Zulfikar Nur. After this, um, we will go to Miss Maya. Okay, Mr. Zulfikar, the time is yours. All right, thank you, Mr. Trio. Nice to meet you. Hello, Mr. Kudori. 
<laughs> All right. Oke. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, my opinion about quarter life crisis ya, yeah, Mister. I think uh, this this case uh, we easy to find it around of our our life around of our how to say it around of us. Uh, I mean that quarter life crisis is uh, uh, we can find like in in our life yeah with our friends our um, like watching watching Korean drama I think that uh, watching anime and also playing game every day every time I think that uh, came from uh, East Asia. Is East Asia uh, a country that came from that come from East Asia uh, have colonized us like uh, China. China colonized us by game, and also Korean colonized us by colonized us by. Uh, Korean drama and K-pop, and also Japan colonize colonizes us by anime and something like that. That is a quarter life crisis. How our our children, our generation in this in our country also doing that, also watching uh, apply apply what is that? Playing game in in every time playing the playing game in the class. Uh, sometimes uh, didn't join the class because of playing game. Sometimes didn't join the class because of watching Korean drama. Sometimes uh, they didn't agree with their with their uh, their husband because of uh, Taehyung because of us. Uh, Uh, something someone like that yeah because of Korean drama and I, I disagree about uh because we cannot control our our life we cannot control our life uh, about 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 that like that sir so uh, I think that that is uh, all about quarter life crisis in our country in our generation now okay so that is sir Okay, thank you, Mr. Zulfi Karnor. It was such a great um, opinion as well. So, um, the definition of parallel crisis for you is about the control of ourselves from the our problem, right? Okay, uh, the next and also the last one about the opinion uh, about the introduction and also the definition of, about uh, parallel crisis uh, will be answered by Ms. Maya. Okay, Miss Maya, time is yours. Okay, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, actually, I I don't have any opinion about this question, but because I I don't have any experience uh, more than people here here and but after I heard the 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 opinion from the Previous speaker, I I do agree with um, I if I'm not wrong, Miss Sophie, um, our crisis our crisis is if we are still alive, uh, there there are many many crises too, and after uh, our our crisis. Also about the respect, um, our um, our problem, uh, and I I believe that every stage our age have different problem. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Maya. Okay, then. We will continue to the next slide. It is about the real definition, 
about the quarter-life crisis. Um, it's from the Thesaurus Dictionary. So, uh, quarter-life crisis, uh, a crisis, a crisis that may be experienced in one's twenties, involving anxiety over the direction and quality of one's life. And also the next slide, we also have another definition. It's come from uh, Bradley University. Uh, or mid 20s to early 30. Okay, I guess um, all of you, uh, even some of you uh, have answered correctly about the definition about um, parallel crisis mean. So uh, we will move to the next slide. Okay, this is um, one of the interesting part of our discussion tonight. It is um, about the fun fact of quarter life crisis. So, um, according to the Guardian, uh, the quarter life crisis affects um, eighty six percent of millennials who report being bogged down by insecurities, disappointment, loneliness, and depression. So, it's known as galo in Indonesia. So, um, is there some of you uh, has been galo? <laughs> Okay, um, next slide. Uh, we have um, another question. Uh, what do you think of common signs of quarterlife crisis? Maybe some of you um, have uh, some opinion and also statement about this common signs. Uh, so please, your hand. Okay, Miss Dia, we have Miss Dia and also Mr. Tommy. Okay, the first one, I guess, uh, Miss Dia, um, the time is yours, please. Okay, thank you for the time. Uh, this is based on my own experience about quarter life crisis. So, at the first time in my life stage, which is when I feel down about my quarter life crisis is I start to questioning myself as a human being. Like what is my purpose in life? What things I like, I really like, or I am really interested in too. And then I start to questioning about my job. Am I really want to do this or not like that? So yeah, uh, the common thing that happen when you have quarter life crisis is you start to questioning your life. And also you will get many insecurities because you start to compare yourself to others, maybe your friends or your, even your siblings maybe. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Dia. So here uh, I will try to underline uh, your opinion first. Uh, you said, that um, common sign of, of the quarter life crisis uh, um, is divided in the in two part. The first part is uh, you you are started um, questioning uh, yourself uh, as a human being, um, questioning about your job and also your life. So um, the second sign uh, from you uh, is um, many insecurities uh, from yourself. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Dea. We will move to the Mr. Tommy Wisudawan. The time is your Mr. Tommy, please. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Satrio. I will give my opinion about the common signs, yeah, from the quarter life crisis. Okay, uh, I think this is the first time I know about the 
quarter life crisis ya yeah. because uh, if i remember when i was young <laughs> because i'm currently old ya yeah. <laughs> oke okay, i never feel that's my crisis ya yeah. but uh, i'm try to give my opinion ya yeah. based on your preview slide i think uh, the first common sign is uh, you will feel uncertain with your future yeah i think if you have question okay uh, tell me what your plan for the next three or five year uh, you confused to answer that so if you have uh, that condition i think that's the first sign about the quarter life crisis yeah but actually i already agree with maybe uh we said yeah the last speaker about the every single step of our life must be have a crisis yeah i'm very agree about it and then the second one is uh you have confused about what you must to do in the first step for example if uh, your friend or your parent asks you okay uh, how about your plan to finishing your college and uh, what your plan after you get your bachelor degree i think and what will you do if you are uh, 26 years old i think so uh, as i remember about the, my experience yeah i think maybe this is not good experience yeah i have i was read uh, a good book i think uh, i'm i cannot remember the the title exactly uh, but is uh, maybe the title is uh, how we must thinking big yeah i think for big based on that book i can get the uh, summarize and i'm try to put in my uh, future plan i must create five years plan what my life and then uh, i'm try to following my plan yeah just 50 50 success yeah 50% success and 50% uh, and success yeah but i think that's more more better than you have no plan to your life yeah and the third sign is uh kalau ya as mr satrio said yeah kalau it mean uh, you have no uh, what we call uh, principle you you still confusing what uh, you decide is true what you your decide uh, will make your life good or will make your life happy you just you just flow it the flow you have no plan and Oke, okay, that's the three point common sense in my opinion, Mr. Satrio. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Tommy. Wow, I also do agree with your statement before. So, um, I I underline um, your statement. So, um, I guess I will I will summary uh, your um, three. Um, uh, three uh, part of the uh, common sign of parallel crisis. I guess um, it is um, a quite um, quite uh, such as like uh, crisis is uh, is a blessing, right? So, okay, uh, we will move to the Miss Miss Maya. Hello, Miss Maya. Yes, sir. Thank you for Thank the time. You. Mm, actually, I do agree with with the mm, some opinions before, but I wanna add the 
the common sign of a, of quarter life crisis is the if Mister uh, before say that we must be two of uh, the first. Yeah. Um, I I think the after we finish the one progress, we also uh, think about where what we must do after the after the project and if we get the problem this is common sign we must passion and not only in our problem in our happiness or i mean we get the some um, gift or bridge perhaps we also get the um, i mean ujian um, we must be grateful also and i mean in the every every problem and every happiness we have we must be we must can respect i mean passion and also be thankful yeah that's it Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Mia. And then um, we still have participants who want to ask a question. Uh, the next one will have uh, Ms. Dania. I know uh, the participant who will start this question is Mila. We'll move to Ms. Dania. Hi, my voice. Yes, of course. Uh, so, from me, uh, another question. And then we spread ourselves from the problems, from the crisis. We think that. If we separate ourselves from it, we're gonna feel happy. Uh, we, our job maybe that that caused the crisis that we think. Furthermore, it's not after we separate. We're not. We're still not feeling better and good and it's will it will bring into another nightmare like depression because we're not uh, we still not uh, we still cannot find the best solutions although we we separate and then after we separate we reflect to ourselves like to find the answer of the crisis and we're still not finding the answer of it so i think that's the common sign like we are feeling trapped we separate ourselves and then we reflection but we still not uh cannot find the answer Wow. That's for me. Wow. I hope it's answering. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Dania. So uh, from Miss Dania, uh, we got um, two uh, common signs of the, of the, of the quarter life crisis. The first one is um, maybe um, it's kind of uh, how, to solve, how, how, how to solve the problem. You know, so um, the second one is uh, how to reflect ourselves uh, from the um, from the problem before. Okay, thank you, Miss Dania. And then uh, we have uh, Miss Akila. Please have a seat. Okay, thank you, Mister. 
for this opportunity again. Uh, so in my opinion, common sign of quarter life crisis is when we are uh, got trust issues. Uh, like when we feel it's really hard to trust other or even ourselves. Like Mr. Tommy said, uh, when people confuse to answer about their future plan, it's mean that are not um, trust with their self because they had a lot of uh, failed. Uh, uh, oh, they they failed in many any aspect before, so they cannot trust it their self again. Yeah, that's all my point. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Miss Akila. Here, um, we got um one new interesting thing from Miss Akila, uh, that uh, she said about the trust issues. Uh, that will be a big question for everyone who is in this period. Wow, thank you, Miss, so much, Miss Akila. And then. Wow, we still have to participants who wants to answer. Maybe um, we will try to hear the um, statement from Miss Miss or Mister Lul Luluk, right? And also Miss Miss. Okay, Mister Luluk, right? Um, uh... Lilik. Lilik, okay. Yes, Kalau okay. Rusia, iya itu baru U. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lupan. <laughs> iya kan. Oke, okay, Mr. Lilik. Oke, okay, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Satro. Mm, thank you for your opportunity. Uh, it's first time uh, I'm joining here. Uh, let me try to explain regarding a uh, common sign of Uh, quarter life crisis here. Uh, based on uh, my knowledge here, after here, uh, several of opinion before. I think uh, at first, uh, the common sign here uh, about uh, always confused about the future because that the uh, because it's not is it, don't have experience uh, um, to solve. Uh, to to uh, to dream uh, and then uh, feel feel uh, feel trapped to dislike the situation still uh, yes uh, because also uh, uh, that is uh, also about the experience here uh, and then maybe uh, it it's uh, difficult to make a decision about a week Uh, we got off several of uh, way solution here. Uh, that is uh, my opinion about the common co common sign of quarter life here. Okay, thank you, thank Mr. Lerik. Yes, for this uh, very great um, statement about the common sign of the, of the quarter life crisis, and then. Um, I guess uh, we will move to the slide. Oh, okay. Um, here, based on the um, statement from the Dr. Christine Greer O'Connor, HD from uh, LECSY on Quarterly Center, Um, the first sign of the quarter of crisis, crisis um, is you feel lost about what to do with your life and are trying to figure out what is missing. The second, having difficulty making decisions and feel paralyzed when presented with choices. And the third one, um, lack of motivation, maybe some kind of a fatigue and increased sleep are of, often uh, a part of this. And then uh, you will feel tension between choosing a life 
and also adventure or um, that are common uh, noun as uh, you 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 only live uh, you only live alone i'm sorry <laughs> if if i forget about 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 this uh, definition you do and settling down or adulting and also the last one uh, you worry uh, that your peers have it all figured out and you are getting left behind so uh, it's a common sign of the uh, quarter life crisis from the doctor uh, christine great o'connor phd and then we will move to the next slide and also i still have a question for you here Mm. The question is, uh, have you ever been in a situation? If you um, ever been in a situation, tell us. And also, maybe you can describe uh, some of your experience um, about uh, this, this, this crisis uh, on your life. Please raise your hand. I hear some Russian voice here. Maybe it's, it is Mr. Kibo. Rabotayes <laughs> work. Okay, um, we have, uh, I guess, uh, Mr. Ku uh, will answer. Firstly, am I audible, sir? Of course, audible. Right. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um. Yeah. Based on the experience, when I when I started in senior high school, I got uh, oppressed from my environment. Of course, I depressed at the time. But when I saw the case or the issues means I don't want to, I'm an, I'm an optimistic uh, person that I don't want to blame the situation or my environment itself. Even my cultural ecosystem doesn't support me at all, but because I don't want to be designed by environment, so I have to create it my environment. But when the issues come to me, means I have to oversee the case. And afterward, uh, I try to elaborate what issues that can make me mature, because maturity doesn't come from uh, from numbers, but also how what uh, what I did, what I do when the issues come for me that I try to to face it. Uh, yeah, that is uh, because. Uh, to try to, to separate it. Uh, for example, midst of pandemic, uh, we see the, the case or the pandemic itself, but how to, to see, to oversee that case? Can we, can we be uh, productive or unproductive? Because uh, uh, from that case, when we are optimistic, we don't need to blame and complained each other but how to how to evaluate learn something new and we can grow and how to explore more to know what we need uh, post of this pandemic thank you mr satrio okay mr ko wow it's also a great um answer for your opinion so um, I got um, several uh, points uh, from your statement before it. Uh, you said that um, you were been in the situation before, and you are questioning yourself about um, how to elaborate the issues um, that come to you, and also um, how you see um, the issues or also the problem with the different things. It, it is all, I guess it, it is also um, important things that you have to um, to immerse into yourself first uh, before um, you answer and also you um, you you will uh, try to uh, to find about uh, your 
um, last and also your uh, the meaning of of uh, uh, what what do you want to do? So um, next one we have Miss Lia. Hello, Miss Lia. Hello. Okay, please. Um, the time is yours. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. It actually happened when I was senior junior high school up until now. I'm still senior high school right now in the 11th grade, which many of people keep asking me where you want, like where, what college you want to go, what major you want to go, and what you want to become in the future, which is, I don't want to think of that. It's quiet ghosting me like what if question like what you want to be like what you want to be next I don't really think about it but that time I think that I need to know what I want to be what I see myself in the future what major I want to end what college I really desire so that time when I want to pick the major I need to pick like up the option was two actually were two. So I've got the answer, but it's not the end of it. It's not the end that I thought that when I got the the choice, I thought it's end there. No not like there's no like after the effect after that, but actually it's the beginning too. So this time I became an anxious, depression comes to me. Like, is my decision right? Like, is this what I want to be? So I, those options keep like questioning me. Like, oh my God, is this right? So I guess that's it, thank you. Okay, wow. I also agree with your statement that uh, maybe um, when people are trying to uh, question uh, to question you about um, about this problem about the question, maybe um, you have to think that um, this is about your life and, and uh, you cannot please everyone. So uh, I guess you don't have to um, answer about people's opinion. Uh, just just do it and just follow your your decision. Okay, uh, maybe we still have Mr. Tommy. Hello, Mr. Tommy. Hello, hello. Okay, the time is yours, please. Okay, okay. I think I remember what I have uh, been in situation. Yeah, I think uh, when I was college uh, i'm i'm i was feel to try everything yeah uh, i'm try to make uh, i'm try to set up my own business i'm try to uh, get the more uh, course and i'm try to uh, 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 doing my uh, hobby so many hobby in there. Uh, so I think that's that's the situation. Yeah, have uh, ever been in my life. And so uh, after I read that book, yeah, how we must think big. Yeah, I I think uh, in that situation I must have plan about my future. And sometimes I'm. Sometimes I was thinking about the, how about the result, yeah. And as my experience, I ignore and I ignore that result. I just make a plan, and whatever the result, uh, I have a, I make a five and until seven years plan. I put the years in there, and I put maybe. Uh, next three years, I I must uh, finish my college. I must graduate to my college, and then one year after, I must uh, become a permanent worker. And the uh, next 
two years after I must have a house, my own house, and the three year after I must married, etc. etc. So uh, I think just fifty percent from my plan is success. Yeah, <laughs> the fifty percent other is not success. But uh, I I I feel uh, from my plan, I think uh, it's much much better than I have no plan. So uh, don't worry about the result. Just make your plan. Don't worry about the future. Just make your plan. Because if you if you uh, fail to plan, you plan to fail. Thank you, Mr. Satrio. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Tommy. So I guess I I I also agree with uh, with your opinion and also your statement. So um, you said that um, you need to uh, to you need to try to find the real you, uh, the real of uh, of yourself first. And also, um, you got uh, some experience from the book named um, "How to Think Big." Is I'm not mistaken. And also after that, after that, uh, um, you create your own plan about the future. And also, you um, you you underline about the um, process is um, important than the result. So if you do uh, plan well, uh, you will enjoy the process. Wow, I guess uh, it's also. Um, a great statement that uh, we have applied uh, to our staff. Okay, here we still have um, three participants who wants to answer. Maybe uh, Miss Zelita, Marcia, please have your Thanks for the uh, chance. Um, yeah, I have I have ever been in this situation because, like I said before, uh, that my parents uh, went to me just um, find the work that, that you can. It's kind of like um, it's, 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 this is very opposite with my passion actually because actually I don't want to be civil servant or the teacher because uh, it, <laughs> I don't want to make a lesson plan and questions for mid test or final test and then after that like analysis test. Oh my god, <laughs> it, it, uh, it makes me so stressed because I have to handle uh, students in the class. I think this is my um, this is not me like that. But if we uh, if I teach in English course, it's, it's okay. Uh, private one oh one. Uh, and then after that, uh, maybe I will apply for some courses. It's okay, but not but not in the school or uh, civil servant. Just uh, it this is not me like that. Like I said before, that I want to. Because I like to communicate with others, so I want to be like um, an unshare in the airport or in the railway station, like that, or uh, customer service, and uh, and try uh learn to handle uh, the problem in there. And uh, actually, this uh, make me so connect. But yeah, I'm I, I'm trying I'm trying to pass it, uh, because uh, my mother said that uh, just just do it and just let it flow. Uh, until you until you get the uh, the better job like that so yeah that's my experience uh, that's all for me so thank you okay Ms. Elita. wow well, maybe um i can try to resum and to uh, summarize about your um, statement before um, here, uh, I have a statement of um, the conclusion of your statement before. Life is too short uh, uh, to worry about yourself. Okay, and then uh, we still have uh, Mr. Sunshine. Please, this time is your. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you so much for time, Gifan. And um, so I believe that uh, there would be uh, some of uh, uh, there would be some of uh, many statements that have been uttered by the previous speakers. I believe that um, uh, this type of anxiety comes from our inability to unlock or to unmask uh, 
the potential positive values after uh, witnessing something bad that actually go against our expectations. Yeah, many times we fail to understand the wisdom behind the activities of things because uh, we believe that um, the reality must go well or go along with our expectations that it doesn't necessarily uh, it doesn't necessarily mean something right. Okay, so I just uh, I just want to give a comment. <laughs> and um, furthermore, I'd like to also back to defer to what has been said by Mr. Tommy before. He said like, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I do agree um, in several parts. I mean, like, it is essential to have a plan or to plan something as efficient as possible. Hence, we can uh, make a checklist or can evaluate uh, the things that we need to do and we can like um, arrange the thing and do something more uh, motiv uh, more motivatedly because uh, we believe that there is something small that we can do uh, based on the period of time but what i disagree is that sometimes even if you you plan something does not necessarily mean that you are capable of doing it okay <laughs> and some yeah it's uh, an Asian people call it what china Okay, so yeah, we make plans, uh, so many plans, as tedious as possible, but due to uh, the laziness or probably uh, other things that we never expect to happen in the midst of uh, execution of those plans, the plans might fail. The plans uh, might be unable to be done as sufficient or as what we expect. Okay, so that's uh, my comment toward Mr. Tommy. <laughs> And I mean, like it is, it uh, it is easier said than done. It is easier to plan than uh, do it. Okay. <laughs> and the next one would be my own experience. So basically, it it happened when I just graduated uh, after uh, I graduated from bachelor degree. Uh, I I don't know what I need to do at that time. So basically, I, I applied for. Uh, for some scholarship to study in Paris. But after accomplishing three months in Paris, my parents asked me uh, whether or not uh, they want, because they have been like uh, quite old, and they want someone from their children to stand by their side. Okay, so they want me to come back to Pontianak where they live over there. Um, but of course, <laughs> uh, the children, especially me, I I, I feel like I, I feel more comfortable to live in Java, uh, <laughs> and, and that's why I, I try to negotiate. And so we have been like quite in a hot, a scorching hot debate or discussion. Uh, we also involve several regiments, but uh, the the most paramount thing that I try to negotiate, uh, I deliver to my parents it's like, um, please give me a year, okay, <laughs> for uh, for working because I got uh, I get accepted, I, I accepted uh, to teach in senior high school in private senior high school in Jogja. So I propose them, uh, give me a year. I like to work and also apply for scholarships. If I got one, then yeah. Then that it is. Uh, but if I didn't get anything, <laughs> I will I will go to Pontianak. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, like uh, that would be like a push and pull uh, between your parents and yourself. It's not uh, my example, probably reflecting how um, how complicated um, to plan the future and. Of course, um, what you me, uh, what you uh, what you assume is something true, is something positive, does not necessarily can be uh, cannot be in this, uh, cannot necessarily be understood by other people because uh, parents who think that they are older than you, have more experience than you, will somehow unconsciously judge you that your immature decision is still need to taken into account. I mean, like. Um, uh, need some considerations okay and that's why <laughs> finally i got one <laughs> yeah it's a it's a long journey so yeah uh, i believe that probably it's like from academic life okay something that really matters for for example like in female perspective for probably like getting married or like uh, how about the career and 
and so on. I think that's for me. Thank you. I'm sorry for taking a lot of time. Wow, thank you, Mr. Sunshine. It's quite a, such a long story from your life and also your experience. So um, I get uh, some point from your point of view before. Uh, if you do or you plan well, you will get a good result as well. So um, we still uh, several slides that we have to be done and then that, that we have to be completed before. So I think um, we should move to the another slide. Okay, the next slide is about the stage of the paralyzed crisis. Um, based on the uh, Dr. Olive Robinson uh, from the University of Greenwich, UK, uh, there are five stages of the paralyzed crisis. So the first one yeah. is you feel trapped by your life choice. And so the second step is you feel somewhat uh, suffocated and feel the need to take risks to get rid of the feeling of being trapped. And uh, the uh, third stage uh, is about uh, you quite the job or end the relationship that is making you feel trapped and retreat into your self-reflection period to determine who you are or trying to discover your life purpose. And then the fourth stage uh, is you slowly begin to re rebuild your life. And the last one is uh, you develop new interests or ac activities that are parallel to your aspiration. So that's uh, the uh, stages of the quarter life crisis from Dr. Olive Robinson from the University of Greenwich. So next slide, uh, I still have a question for you. Okay, so um, I have read uh, from some media that um, um, Indonesian youth um, doesn't feel happy. It is um, the result about the coral life crisis. So um, the question is, um, is there any correlation between happiness and coral life crisis? So please have your seat and um, try to uh, express your opinion and also your statement about this question. Please raise your hand. Okay, Mr. Manshine, please. The time is yours. Okay, um, well, so if the question is uh, asking about if there is a correlation between the quarter life crisis and also happiness, based on my assumption, the answer is um, yes. It because of what? It because you need to manage and understand about the quarter life crisis itself. So this is the reason that we are uh, we are uh, we, we feel lucky that we can involve especially in the discussions that uh, that uh, people can be ed uh, educated by uh, these uh, discussions yeah you know, what is the, the meaning of the quarter life crisis itself because everyone has many passes in their life started by quarter life crisis right now when we are still young and after that we will meet with middle life crisis and the last you will meet with the final crisis. So all of them are the passes in our life. When right now you're trying to think about relationship, you try to think about your education, you're trying to think about your job, you still uh, stay in quarter life crisis. When you are done with this, you will meet with middle crisis. Yeah, when you have uh, get married and you have a baby, so you will think about how to how to feel, fulfill the necessary or necessity of your family and you have to give money to your wife, you have to give money to your children. So you will meet with that crisis. So it's called by um, middle uh, crisis. And at the end of the day, you will meet the final crisis. 
point of crisis is like you can't do anything because you have been all you just trying to wait your time to die so it's called by final crisis so this is the reasons that all of crisis will be met by the people in the future so right now how yeah how to manage it yeah uh, the answer is you have to know about the quarter life crisis itself so this is the reason that you need to manage that quarter life crisis to become uh, the energy to become uh, the happiness to become the thing that make you will be avoided from the pro state itself so that's why yeah if you if you understand about the quarter life crisis itself it will try to uh, decrease yourself from the pro state it will try to decrease yourself from um, from the mental illness because you know many people uh, don't understand about what is the quarter life crisis itself so this is the reason that they make uh, they, they feel frustrated in their life and they uh, jump uh, to uh, to uh, the mental illness they jump to a kind of the thing that uh, we don't want it's like they do suicide and others so this is the reason that if you ask me about my assumption about uh, between corre uh, correlation between the quarter life crisis and the happiness itself of course yes because you know yeah so i'd like to take the example from um from the profession yeah i have a friend and he is one of the son from one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest uh, investor in one of the biggest mall in jakarta and he is so fucking rich yeah he has a lot of money he has everything in his life he he he, he never think about a job again because he only trying to continue all of his uh, uh, his uh, father's uh, businesses so this is the reasons that uh, yeah when we are from the other side of him we will think wow he is so lucky he gets everything he, he, do, he doesn't think about money again he doesn't think about uh, what is the profession that he will take again but the fake show when I asked him he said uh, my friend Mr. Marshine I, I'm really jealous on you because you start your business from zero and right now you can get the success. You can go to USA. You can go to uh, you can go to Korea. You can go to many countries all over the world. And you start the, all of them from zero. But me, I just trying to continue my father businesses, and I'm really jealous on, on you. So that's why I, I got first aid in my life because uh, I feel like nothing in my life. So he thinks about it. So it means everyone has their different quarter life crisis. Yeah, even though we, we are coming from different sides that we think that he is so happy with kind of the thing that he has in his life. So this is the reason that we need to know what is the quarter life crisis itself. So we'll be avoided from true state and the happiness will be, uh, will be uh, increased in the future. So. Thank you for the discussion. Thank you for bringing this topic. So this uh, is this all my opinion. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Manshine, for this very complete and very um, nice answer and also the statement for your experience before. Um, I will try to underline um, both your um, statement that uh, you mentioned um, uh, it depends on the people. Uh, if you think it's good for you, you, uh, you will try to find its way. So um, I guess uh, you have started to answer uh, it further than, than the question because uh, we still have um, the next slide uh, of, of, of this question uh, on the slide number 13 about how, how to overcome uh, this, this crisis. Uh, but, 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 uh, but it's okay. Uh, so here... Um, I guess uh, everyone uh, has their own step um, of this crisis, uh, and it uh, also depends on who you are. That you mentioned before, uh, you said that you have a friend who very rich, a person who live in Jakarta. Uh, he is also a son of the biggest and also the richest person in Jakarta as well. So uh, I guess um, it it depends on the people uh, on how. Um, uh, he or so she tried to um, answer um, about the um, a correlation 
um, uh, between happiness and also the parallel relationships. Uh, if uh, if he feel happy, I guess um, it is uh, also good for uh, for life. So uh, okay, thank you, Mr. Manshan. We still have uh, Miss Suci, Miss Suci Inda Febriande. Please, this time is yours. Okay, hello. Uh, thank you, Mr. Satrio, for the opportunity. Uh, so actually, uh, my uh, my opinion is is uh, very similar with Mr. Marshain before that our happiness uh, has the happiness it has correlation with the quarter life quarter life crisis. Uh, so it just like uh, like uh, from the slide before that the sign of uh, the sign of uh, when we when we feel that uh, we have a quarter life crisis so based on based on my experience as well that uh the, the the by the time that when i don't feel happy anymore with what i do so it just like i i feel like oh i met my crisis at that time like even if i met my goals if uh, i met like uh, i can reach uh, i can i finish all the plans that uh, i made before but and then uh, just like I feel bored, so it's just like I don't, I don't, I don't know anymore that why why uh, I'm here and so on. So even if like uh, okay, so based on my experience, like when uh, in my career life, like um, uh, about that uh, how to say like man uh, management. I'm sorry, I forgot the name. <laughs> So it's just like some kind of like a one year program. <laughs> it seems like I I already erased all of my memory about that. <laughs> so it's just like one year program, like uh, everyone compete uh, with uh, themselves. Uh, uh, and then uh, in is it the one year program? And then it's only three uh, by the time that only seven of the people like uh, pass to the final assessments and only three, three of us uh, um, uh, managed to pass the program and then uh, just like uh, uh, how to say like they say that oh uh, to get uh, and then uh, the achieve uh, uh, the the best achievement and then, so that is why we over uh, to the higher position and and so on so like from twelve uh, participant only three passed the program and then by the year that that uh, when I met like. It's just like acceleration in the in the career life, and then I got to the point like about the comfort, uh, comfortable position. When before, when I think that it's not as much uh, as challenging as uh, as I feel before, and then even if I got the problem, I already know how to solve the problem. So it feels like I I don't I I don't know about my uh, my. I would say my function is it like just like I think even if I'm not here, uh, the the company or even the 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 department is 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 going well because it's already uh, 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 it's uh, it's already has a system that I create before that how to solve all all uh, the the problems that we met. So it's just like as much as challenging that uh, that I think. At the same time, also like Mr. Sunshine, I also experienced that how the parents. Uh, us that uh, if well the, they are already uh, it's quite old and then us if one of the children can stay by by uh, by their side so it just like at by the time it just like uh, how to say it, the 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 good timing that whether that I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not satisfied with the career, even if I reach the goals, even when I meet my goals, and also that there is that other uh, priority that that I need to concern about. So it just like at the time, I'm not happy anymore. It's just like that. So it just even if that like Mr. Myshine said before that even if maybe some people will be envy about that achievement, but when we or or the people at that position is not feel happy, so they will, they will feel some crisis in their life. So, but for me, as based on my experience, it's just like for me, I decided to take a break from that. It's just like out of my control. I cannot, I cannot uh, begging like, please give me more, more how to say like, please give me more tasks 
please give more please give me more challenge it's just like like who am i i'm not that uh okay do this do that do this project and and so on it's just like i'm not in that position that that uh, very high position or maybe they don't they don't feel that they don't think that i'm i'm uh, capable enough to do the, the the other project so they just want me to stick there and then uh, even if it's just like you are you are in the comfortable position just just enjoy it like people people has been begging with your position but i'm not happy with that because it's not as challenging as I, as I thought. So that is why I'm trying, for me, it just, I, I took a break from that. And then just, I, I need to think that what I want to do. And then maybe, maybe it just like the solution is just like, I need to do something that, uh, that, 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 that I wanted that I can start something that, that can challenge myself a lot. So that is why happy, happiness is very, uh, it's, uh, has a great correlation with the, the quarter life crisis i think i think that's all for me i'm sorry i'm taking a lot of time thank you okay thank you so much miss suci in the febrian day okay i also do agree with your statement that um happiness and also quarter life crisis uh, has their own correlation so uh we have have um mr berlin oh god uh, it's quite far <laughs> from the european Okay, Mr. Berlin, please um, have your time. Uh, yes, uh, thank you for this opportunity. Anyway, today is the day for me for trying to speak English more. <laughs> and then, um, well, firstly, when we want to make a correlation between two kinds of existence, we need to see the state of the both of them, such as the happiness and the crisis. Both of them are noun, so we can say that both of them are apple to apple, and we can uh, see uh, the correlation between both of them. And I can say that they have the correlation. Firstly, when we want to talk about the happiness itself, it's a condition that the dopamine and the oxytocin is fulfill your brain, and it will create the condition that you are happy. It's the condition of the happiness. But how to create the production of the of those hormone to uh, to be exist in our brain is something related with the crisis that we talk in this uh, discussion crisis uh, in this discussion in my opinion means about the uncertainty um, condition uh, in the midst of age of uh, adolescence particularly in the quarter life uh, in the quarter life, uh, in the quarter life of their life, uh, it's gonna be like in their twenty until twenty five years old. And in this uncertainty, they see that the truth in the life is not quite strict, such as they were in their childhood. When they were childhood, they see that the truth, the alt, the almighty truth, is only from their parents. But when they step into the, the age of 20 or until 25, they see that there are many truths from the, their friends, from their uh, job uh, space, and from the many kinds of truths are spread. And sometimes they are not similar, seems like how to see about the best toys uh, of the economic system must be implemented in our life, seems like that. And it's gonna be one of the crises that pops up in this uh, ages. So when they see it, um, they feel gloomy because when I choose this, is it true or not? Is it good to me or not? Is it make me well or better to my future? It's gonna be a, a few of questions that pops up in their ages. And sometimes they will make the condition that they will compare from their life to the others, and it's gonna be toxic for their life. And it's not good and they will feel sad if they are lower than the others. So happiness is not, uh, happiness, uh, I mean the correlation between the happiness and crisis is really uh, pops up in this kind of example that I said in this story, thank you. Wow, thank you so much. 
Mr. Berlin who has given his statement from the part of the European continental. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, we have to move to the another question. Okay, here we still have a question about the um, how to overcome uh, this crisis. Maybe some of you uh, wants to give your um, opinion also or uh, your statement. Maybe uh, even uh, some of you have some experience about how to overcome uh, the quarter life crisis uh, on your life before. Please, the time is yours and raise your hand. Yes, Mr. Manshine, please, the time is yours. Hello? Yes, Mr. Manshine. Yeah, so, um, yeah, based on my assumptions, how to overcome the quarter life crisis? Uh, it's simple by word, but sometimes to implement it, you yeah, need a lot of energies and also need a lot of tears but i suppose that it can help the several people that are uh, involved by the quarter life crisis yeah first of all in uh professions or job yeah based on my assumption is just do a best in your life yeah even though a kind of the things that uh you you uh you face right now is different with what uh you wish for example yeah if uh today your job is not uh suitable with your wish with your patience and others so just do it at the first yeah even though you feel suffer but don't forget yeah job or profession is like a girlfriend or your boyfriend too yeah so it will not guarantee uh the first girlfriend or the first boyfriend it'll be wife maybe the second girlfriend the third girlfriend and the fourth girlfriend and at the end of the day you will marry her it's almost same with profession if uh, today your major is um low when you graduate from your universities it does not guarantee you will be a lawyer right so maybe you, you go uh, become businessman when you have a lot of money so when you're as businessman and after that you have a lot of money so maybe you can go to uh, politics yeah you can pay uh, with other campaigns with a lot of monies when you uh, become the legislative assembly and become part of the government so you uh, you give the impact to your people when you have a given impact to your people you um, you are adored by the people and you become an influencer when you become influencer you are invited by the candidate of the president to become their campaigner when the president succeeds to become a president so you will be taken as uh, commissaries how to say that so everything that is changed right so we do not guarantee uh today's job will be the last job or the last profession to you but kind of the thing that i will underline here is yeah don't compare yourself to others yeah just trying to become yourself because when you try to compare yourself with others it's like you, you're trying to compare between uh between uh of fire and also water between water and also air everything uh there is different so that's why just try to be yourself if you are as a water just trying to uh, watering the, all the plants and they can live with you so if you become a fire yeah just trying to uh be uh be uh, the thing in a uh, stuff compor gas so you can help a people to cook just try to become the man with value and, and just try to 
be thankful to uh, to what kind of the thing that you get right now. And I suppose that you will be avoided by the quarter life crisis itself. So this is my opinion. Well, choice by Shiba. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Moonshine, for the opinion and also the statement. So um, I will try to um, to underline about the uh, your your uh, quote. So don't compare yourself, just to be yourself, and be the man with the value. Wow, it's a very good uh, quote from Mr. Moonshine. So I guess we have uh, Miss Dania here. Please, Miss Dania. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, so before I say it, just believe in yourself. From me, based on my experience, uh, I believe, ah, so the first, uh, the first point is, it's important for us to understand about our capability and mental health condition. How if we the quarter life crisis, are we a person who can survive and fight it, fight alone? Or we are the person who needs someone to accompany us to face this quarter life crisis. And from my experience, when I face the quarter life crisis, it's really hard for me to to move to move up, move on. <laughs> I mean, like to fighting alone. So um, I feeling trapped in my room and motivated. Although I try to find the answer, the solutions, but I feel it's not good enough until my friends comes to me and uh, he bring me to the doctor to console about my crisis, why I am need a long time to face this quarter life crisis. So my point is, if you, uh, if you can face the quarter life crisis alone, you need to seek help. Um, find someone who wants to help you to face this crisis. That's for me. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Miss Dania, for the nice statement. Um, because um, the time uh, is limited for our discussion tonight, so um, I guess we have to move to the uh, next slide. Okay, here uh, there are some um, statement from the McNathan about how to beat the quarter crisis and or uncover your life purpose. The first one, step up and create the things you want to see in the world. It is the first um, important things that you have to do. The second, uh, stop trying to please others. You don't have to please other people. Just, uh, just be yourself. The number three: listen to your inner voice. The fourth: uh, uncover your identity by trying new things. The more you think, uh, the more you think, the more um, you can. And uh, the last one: tap into your resistance. So. Um, we will um, step up to the our last slide of our discussion tonight. So the next slide, please. Okay. We have come to the our last uh, slide of our discussion tonight is a conclusion. So um, I will put the uh, two question from this slide, the first one is, is it uh, common or not? You have to be answered, is it common or not? Yes or no, only that. And also uh, I will give you a chance
to answer the second question uh, about what's your advice only in one sentence. Please, everyone, prepare yourself to answer and raise your hand. Okay, Mr. Berlin, time is yours. Um, yes, try to uh, try to find a friend for gossiping in the end of the day. Thank you. Wow, great, great statement for uh, from Mr. Berlin. So the next one, who wants to answer and give the conclusion of our discussion tonight? Okay, Mr. Firda. So I'm actually Miss. I'm okay, a girl. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, Miss Miss Firda. Okay, it's actually yes. Thank you. It's yes. Uh, create new. Uh, create positive things from yourself. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Miss Firda. Create the positive things uh, for yourself. And then we have Miss Zelita Marsha, please. All right. <laughs> Uh, try to find something new because uh, God know uh, now God know your best. You uh, God know the best for you. Okay, try your best, and God know the best for you. Yeah, because wow, it's great, great statement. So, is there anyone who wants to answer? Please, please. Okay, Mister Sunshine. Okay, I guess it is yes. And the advice maybe is for others, yeah. So I don't give this advice for myself. I just give advice for others. Uh, it's up to you to accept it. So if Mr. Berlin would like to say find friends, uh, I'd like to say that find lover. <laughs> or find another friend that might be your lover. Okay, because a uh, friend uh, sometimes can be there for you, but lover will give you distinctive treatment yeah, to unleash your <laughs> inspiration, <laughs> inspiring motivation to do something that you want to pursue. I think that's something. Thank you. You are right. Okay, I do agree with your statement. And then, Mr. Manshine, please give your advice only in one yeah, sentence. Yeah. Uh, if life is so short, love yourself more. That's it. Wow, thank you so much, Miss Man, Miss, Mr. Manshine. And then, um, Miss Akila, please. Okay, uh, I have thought life is too short, so uh, smile and smile while you have it. And if someone think that water life crisis make them uh, unhappy, so you need to change that statement to be, uh, you need uh, to be happy and you need to have a reason. Why do you happy? So you will have a reason to pass this situation. If you happy, you will have a reason to pass this situation. Wow, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Ms. Akila. So, uh, Ms. Akila said that everybody here have to be happy. Don't forget about it. So, uh, the next one, we, we, we still have Ms. Maya. Thank you, Ms. Um, I just wanna say, uh, focus, follow on, follow on course until success. Yes, that's it. Wow, thank you, Miss Maya, for this advice. And then we still have, uh, Mister Baba Boy, iPhone. Maybe yes. Uh, you will give our, uh, give us iPhone, the new, the new iPhone. <laughs> And maybe someday, I don't know. Uh, my like a couple of advice is one, live to the fullest, and then second, find happiness. Sure, thank you. Hey, thank you, Mr. iPhone. Mr. Manshine, uh, do you still uh, have a sentence that you want to 
Марсей? Маршай? Uh, нет. Нет, окей. Okay. Без проблем. And then we still have Mr. Lilik, please have your seat to answer this question. Uh, may um, I first here uh, change your job to be action? Okay, nice. <laughs> action is the first important things in every thing. <laughs> And then, is there anybody who wants to give an advice? Only one statement, only one sentence for our discussion tonight before um, I and also the host um, give a closing. Anybody? Okay, I, I guess um, some of people here um, has given a nice and also um, such um, I guess such um, important and also the um, the um, uh, for uh, for uh, for our uh, discussion tonight. So um, before uh, I I close and also I end up our discussion tonight. Um, I will uh, try to answer the. A question from the conclusion. The first one I need to say that yes, it is common for our life. And what's your advice? So, like the others, uh, I just want to say that uh, just be yourself. Uh, only you who want uh, who know about yourself deeper than the others. So, I guess um, everyone has a given the nice statement for our discussion tonight. And I'm so thankful for this great chance and also opportunity to the Mr. Berlin and also Ota um, that uh, we have uh, we have a time uh, to sharing about the coronavirus crisis that has come and happened um, in, in human, human life period. So I guess, Um, I need to give to the Mr. Berlin. Thank you so much, uh, everybody here. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, what a nice discussion moderated by Mr. Satrio. Give a big hand for him. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, today I have... Uh, written some of not mistakes uh, just uh, something something that we need to be advancing more ya ini ada beberapa masukan buat diskusi kita kali ini yang pertama adalah kalau memang teman-teman itu mau menyampaikan beberapa hal ya misalkan ada beberapa makanan gitu misalnya itu jangan bilangnya there is foods jangan tapi There are foods ya, kayak gitu. Jadi uh, kalau misalkan ada there are several stages gitu, jangan there is several stages. Oh no 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 no, gitu ya. Jadi uh, pastikan teman-teman tuh jangan sampai kebalik-balik mengenai plural maupun singgulernya teman-teman ya. Nah yang kedua adalah ini uh, tadi ada banget ada yang bilang adult food, ini adult food itu bilangnya tuh adult food itu <laughs> agak lucu ini dari Cambridge bilangnya adult food ya jadi ini pakainya a bukan u ya seperti itu kemudian bukan krisis ya krisis itu ya serapan bahasa Indonesia memang cuman akan lebih keren kalau misalkan gunakannya krisis ya atau kata krisis ini seperti itu ketika teman-teman berbicara menggunakan bahasa Inggris kemudian uh, ini bacanya bukan The saurus ya, tapi the saurus, the saurus, gitu. the saurus seperti itu. Jadi bukan the saurus, tapi the saurus. Ini, ini adalah uh, kayak dictionary, kayak apa? Um, apa itu namanya? Kamus yang dia itu berisi sinonim-sinonim kata yang ada di dalam bahasa Inggris seperti itu. Kemudian ini uh, bukan answer ya, tapi answer, answer. 
ya, answer. Jadi nggak ada W-nya, W-nya itu hilang gitu. Jadi langsung answer gitu, gitu ya. Kemudian uh, kalau misalkan sudah menggunakan kata more, jangan more better itu enggak ya, enggak enggak oke okay, ya. Tapi bilangnya tuh much better. Kalau misalkan teman-teman mau menggunakan apa ya sesuatu yang dilebih-lebihkan kayak gitu, itu jangan gunakan uh, more. Habis itu belakangnya er gitu, jangan. Tapi much gitu, much better gitu, misalkan. Atau enggak much faster gitu. Jadi uh, kalau misalnya teman-teman mau pakai hiperaktif gitu, yang dia tuh belakangnya ada er, itu mau kalau misalnya mau diberi awalan jangan beri kata more. More itu untuk yang lebih dari satu ini ya vowel ya. Saya kayak more beautiful nggak apa-apa. Tapi kalau hmm, kalau misalkan more better itu nggak bisa seperti itu. Terus galau itu gloomy ya, gloomy itu galau. Terus ujian, tadi ada yang bingung ujian itu bahasa Inggrisnya apa ya? Ujian itu ada challenge, itu tantangan ya. Tapi challenge itu sebenarnya ya ujian tapi secara umum gitu. Jadi Uh, kalau misalnya teman-teman gunakan it's the examination of life itu orang bakal bingung ya. karena exam itu adalah mengarah ke pendidikan jadi uh, pastikan kalau misalnya teman-teman mau mengarahkannya ke umum itu challenge aja kalau mau mengarah ke pendidikan ada gurunya ada mentornya itu bilangnya exam kayak gitu uh, konotasinya kemudian uh, question <laughs> ini <laughs> agak question ya tapi question pakainya ceh ceh gitu ya jadi question seperti itu. Kemudian ini untuk spelling yang ini itu ini bukan i tapi i. Kemudian ini itu bukan y tapi w ya. Jadi l i c s w seperti itu. Bukan l i c s y. No, no, no. Seperti itu ya. Kemudian ini bukan fatigu tapi fat fatik ya. fatik. Jadi tadi ada yang bilang fatigu itu enggak oke okay ya. Yang benar fatik. Cuman enggak ada u dan juga ini bukan a tapi e. Seperti itu. Kemudian untuk yang ini itu tadi kan teman-teman ada tuh yang mau nyeritain ketika masih kuliah, ketika masih apa senior high school seperti itu ya. Itu eh, pastikan teman-teman itu hati-hati gitu karena begitu teman-teman itu sudah menggunakan past tense Pastikan teman-teman itu menggunakan past tense itu sesuai sama konotasi maupun konteks yang mau dibawakan. Jadi ada ada yang bilang, when I was senior high school, I am in 12th grade, I am what? Ini kan dia masih satu satu bahasan gitu ya, itu ketika dia masih senior high school. Tapi kenapa ini harus pakai I am gitu? Apakah sekarang dia masih kelas 12 grade atau dulu gitu? Jadi akan membuat kacau pemahaman orang-orang sana nanti. Jadi pastikan ini harusnya kan I was ya. Pastikan teman-teman konsisten kalau emang mau ceritanya ke arah sana, ya masa lalu. Kemudian <tuh> uh, tadi ada juga yang ini apa latahnya itu habis i itu langsung ada m-nya itu juga hati-hati. Uh, aku paham memang itu sudah kayak i try to i try to la 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 kayak gitu ya. Cuman uh, karena latahnya itu habis i itu m am am gitu itu bakal membuat ini itu jadi tidak konsisten gitu karena ini ayam juga gitu di mana dia itu um, jadi aku telah dicoba untuk <laughs> antra itu itu jadi lucu gitu ya kemudian juga ignorant jadi ini kan adjektif ya adjektif itu kan dia nggak bisa jadi sendiri harus ada auxiliary verbnya ada misal ayam ignorant itu oke okay. tapi ini langsung i ignorant itu kurang oke okay ya nah, dari konteks yang dia bawakan itu ignore itu mau ke verbal jadi I ignore jangan ignorant ya jadi I ignore bla 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 seperti itu kemudian ini degree yang sedang saya kejar <laughs> bachelor S1 <laughs> itu jangan lupa ini bacanya tuh yang ini cah ya bukan she tapi uh, bachelor ya bachelor bukan bachelor tapi bachelor seperti itu kemudian ini cita-citanya Mr. Marshine ya yeah. komisaris atau komisioner sir komisioner ya yeah. komisioner and that's all for this discussion semoga bahasa Inggris kita bisa semakin lancar jaya 
sejahtera setahu saya. Dan and before we close our meeting today, <laughs> let's we take a picture. Okay, just pops up your view, your side of your head. <laughs> Okay, I see that uh, Miss Maya, Mr. A, Mr. Khudori, Sufikar Noor, Adila Fauzalma. We want to pop up your face here for this photograph. Okay. Habis money? Yes. Let's we take a picture. And the account three. Oh, yes. Sufikar, uh, do you want to join with us? Mr. Arabis A, you want to join with us? Okay, under my counts, just get ready for your great smile. Three, two, one, smile. Okay, that's one. Good that. Yeah, that's the group. Okay, once again, get ready for your smile. Three, two, one, smile. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for your participation. And before we close our meeting today, actually we have a great year. Yeah. So when I said, when I say, other community, you said yesterday, you said tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Okay, other community. Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday you say tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you guys. Okay. Thank, thank you for your time and see you. Thank you. Bye. Commissioner. That's me, Daniel. <laughs> Commissioner. Commissioner. <laughs> Special staff sus.